We stopped at a red light and we was driving my car, getting ready to make a right hand turn. And it was a man on the corner holding a sign that said, hungry, anything to help. So I looked over at my friend as I'm driving and I just wanted to see what he was going to do. He was like, hey, Tony, you think you can go ahead and turn real quick, man? I don't want this guy to try to rob us. I'm thinking in my head, what kind of gentleman are you? 30 minutes ago, you just got through talking about how upset you are at this billionaire over here because he didn't provide housing for all the homeless people in the particular state but the man who you was literally right beside like 15 foot away from asked you for one dollar four quarters 25 50 75 a dollar and you couldn't even give that man four quarters why are you mad at the billionaire because he's not providing adequate housing for all of the people in the state who need a housing this man here he needed one dollar that one dollar could have bought him a bacon cheeseburger from the hamburger shop around the corner see that's why i'm saying don't be letting people tell you how to spend your money Good evening, and welcome to another episode of the Mindset Master Podcast. I'm your host, Tony Reed, and I'm also the proprietor of the podcast. Now, with today's episode, we're going to be talking about stop letting people dictate how or what you need to be spending your money on. And if you want to learn more about this topic, stay tuned to the end of this episode. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this topic today is because three days ago, I was with a friend of mine. We was out eating at this restaurant. It's a real nice upscale restaurant we was at. They had like a tennis match on behind my friend's head but the tv behind my head it had the news on so the news had featured a multi-billionaire who owns like a big factory and he makes cars and stuff my friend who i was with got real mad at the billionaire on tv and was like man to hell with this guy and i'm looking like why are you mad at this guy for what did he do to you he was like oh well the reason i don't like him is because he could have spent 350 million dollars out of his pocket the guy is a multi billionaire Tony a lot of homeless people are in that particular state I feel like that he should take his money instead of flying and doing other stuff with his money he ought to take 300 million and he ought to provide housing for all the people that's out there on the west coast and I looked at my friend and I was like okay one thing that I really don't get into is like politics and like religion I, I try not to get into stuff like that with people because that's like a lot of minutia and that's a lot of debatability things and I don't like doing debates and nothing like that. And I was like, okay, you know, he feels really strong about this billionaire. He feels like the billionaire is, you know, doing wrong with his wealth and, you know, things like that. But everybody has their own opinion on what somebody else needs to be doing with his or her money. About 45 minutes later, we were going back to his house and we stopped at a red light and we was driving my car and we stopped at a red light, getting ready to make a right hand turn. And there was a man on the corner holding a sign that said, huh? hungry anything to help so i looked over at my friend as i'm driving and i just wanted to see what he was going to do he was like hey tony you think you can go ahead and turn real quick man i don't want this guy to try to rob us i'm thinking in my head what kind of gentleman are you 30 minutes ago you just got through talking about how upset you are at this billionaire over here because he didn't provide housing for all the homeless people in the particular state but the man who you was literally right beside like 15 foot away from asked you for one dollar four quarters and you couldn't even give that man four quarters why are you mad at the billionaire because he's not providing adequate housing for all of the people in the state who need a housing this man here he needed one dollar that one dollar could have bought him a bacon cheeseburger from the hamburger shop around the corner see that's why i'm saying don't be letting people tell you how to spend your money typically it's close friends and family members members that be trying to tell you how to spend your money when people get to trying to tell you how to spend your money nine times out of ten they're not spending their money wisely neither it puzzles me how people can get mad at a certain person because he's in a certain tax bracket like he's supposed to spend all of his money on doing this right here but what my friend doesn't realize is a lot of people in life don't realistically want better for themselves in life most people kind of settle in 
life in hope that some organization or hope that somebody comes along and saves them. You can't always play the damsel in distress. Sometimes you have to go out and grab life by the horns. If it's realistically something that you want in life, you're going to go out and get it. But most people don't really take that additional effort in life to go out and get the things that they want. So they sit back and they point the finger at other people and they blame other people for certain problems in the world and things like that. It's not just this billionaire job to take care of people. See, it's everybody's job to take care of people. So that was my friend's job to take care of that guy who asked for a dollar. I wanted to ask my friend so bad, hey man, why'd you give such and such a hard time, but you didn't give this man over here a dollar? Like I wanted to ask my friend that question so bad. I was in my car. It's not like he could have kicked me out. I didn't feel like going back and forth Why his logics is sane and sound and the man who's making billions of dollars, his logic isn't a allegedly sane and sound according to my friend. And see, that's what I'm saying. If you get to letting people tell you what to spend your money on and how to spend your money, they'll always guide you the wrong way. If you like this episode today thus far, please press that like and subscribe button for me. Most people think, oh yeah, hey, you got something, you must put it on credit. Uh, I only use credit when credit is applicable. Like, okay, for example, like a hotel reservation, you know, something like that. Or either if I want to go get like a business loan to go buy like a print press or uh, something like that for Tony Reed Co., then I'll go out here and use a credit card because that's making me money. I'm not going to go out here and spend a credit card for something for my car that's going to depreciate the moment that I install it on my car. It's going to immediately woo, depreciate. So no, I'm not going to use no credit for nothing like that. So because that would be illogical because I'm not going to be paying interest on something that might break six months down the road. Yeah, I got a warranty with it, but yet and still, you got to take it or lose. Take it to, you got to go through the whole shindig. I don't use credit for stuff like that. I only use cash and debit. And maybe that could be something that helps you also. So like if you're really thinking about what you need to spend and stuff like that, don't spend money on things that is irrelevant. Spend cash on things that's irrelevant. Spend debit money like which is cash. Spend that money like that first. Only use credit in situations to help elevate your income. A TV over here at the electronic shop is not going to elevate your income unless you're going into an electronic shop business or something like that, then yeah, go use your credit. But other than that, you want to go get a PS5 or something like that, use cash, use the debit card. Please do not go out here and finance it and get charged 36% interest for a $200 device that you're getting upsold $300 on because of the particular store you're buying it from. When people get to trying to tell you how to spend your money, do not listen to what they are trying to tell you. Now, the things that I'm telling you, the advice that I'm telling you, this is saying sound advice to actually help you when I'm telling you about not use credit cards and stuff like that. So I'm helping guide you in the right direction on how to spend your money wisely so it'll keep continuing to grow for you. But the average person, they're going to give you ill advice on why you should not have bought this iPhone 16. Why does it matter why I bought the iPhone 16? Who care. And that's one thing about people. People like to always try to get involved in somebody else's business. You can go up here and be like, oh, well, you bought the iPhone 16. The iPhone 16, they got three cameras. The iPhone 15 Pro S Max 2 feet, they got 16 cameras. So you could have saved $75 on this camera. Ho, 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 ho. I didn't want that phone. I wanted the 16. That's what I bought. That's what I got. Case closed. Might drop. When people get to trying to tell you how to spend your money, I want you to do me a huge favor. When people get to telling you what you need to spend your money on, I need for you to go into defense mode and say, hey, let's do a proper evaluation of your logic and your spending habits. Now, I bet you if you go over to the person's house who's debating what you need to spend your money on, if you hit them back with the same thing, hmm, you're looking at me, what you spending your money on? Let's make sure that you are not a hypocrite. Because see, most people in that situation, they're going to be a huge, huge hypocrite. They're going to sit back and they're going to be spending things illogically. They're going to be sitting back with gold commode seats and stuff like that, gold shower faucets to spend Skittles out. But then if somebody's over here spending $16 for a bottle of cologne, oh, you didn't spend your money wisely. See, you can't be listening to people whenever they try to tell you how to spend your money because they don't know how to spend their money. If a person is trying to tell you how to spend your money, a person like that typically isn't going to have a lot of money. If somebody just volunteers their services to you, hey, buddy, 
You're spending your money on this. You need to go over here and buy this. Instead of buying a John Deere, you need to buy a Husqvarna. You could have saved $17. Instead of buying it from this store over here, you should have bought it from the store way down here, 100 miles down the road, just to save 75 cents. If somebody is saying stuff like that to you, that is a broke person. Do not listen to them. That is a poor person's mindset. I hate to say it like that. Only people who realistically have nothing in life to do would ever drive 100 miles out the way to save 17 cents. Come on now. That's not even mathematically logical to go do something like that. That is a poor person's mindset. And it's people like that within poor person's mindsets. Them are going to be the people who are going to be up here guiding you on what you need to spend your money on. And that about wraps it up for today's episode. Until next time, I'll catch you later.